Hello everyone. I am here to do a little tutorial on my um, flip flap journals. I hope I can do a tutorial on these. I'm going to try to explain how I did it. Um, I used these really long cardstock um, pieces of paper. They are, I think they're like 20 inches long, but I cut it down to 19 inches on this, 19 this way by 9 this way, and um, let me see here. It opens like this. I just put my um, envelopes on here, kind of laid them out how I wanted them to look. You don't have to do that, but let me show you how I did the inside, really, or the base of it really quick. And I'll show you another way on how to do it if you don't have the super long cardstock. That way everybody can kind of use it or do it if you wanted to. And like I said, I cut this down to 19 inches by 9. And this is just how I did mine. <laughs> There's many ways to do it. And then I took my scoreboard and I scored it at, let's see. I did my first score line at 6 and then my second score line at 6.5 and, and then a third at 7. And that makes your spine for your signatures. And this just made it easier for me so I can just sew it, you know, a um, spine in this half inch mark right here and a spine or a signature in this half inch right there. And that just kind of folded over and gave me my spine. It made it easier for me to just sew it in, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, six, six and a half, and seven, I scored it. Or you can just fold it as if you don't have a scoreboard, you can just fold it at that, those marks. And then I folded it over on the third mark, on the seven inch mark. And I slid it all the way over here. And from that one, I scored it again at six and then at six and a half. So, yeah, six over here, six and a half, seven. And then you go over six inches and you fold it at six and then at six and a half. And that gives you your trifold. So you kind of have a room for a signature in both. And if you don't want a signature in both, you can score it at any, you know, any old way you want to. And then the second way that you can do it if you don't have those that long cardstock right there you can just take two file folders and they already have their um their three fold marks right here and you can cut them cut two file folders at nine inches lengthwise and then the first one at see how they have those three marks right there the first one I cut at the first score line I cut six inches this way and then at the third score line I cut six inches this way so both sides are six inches if that makes sense I hope and I don't know if you can get these folders outside of us but if if you can't, then you just could glue cardstock together. And this ends up being, I think, 13 inches because there's like almost an, it almost ends up being an inch spine. On, on this one, it ends up being an inch spine. This one ends up being a hair smaller, but it's okay because it still works. And then your second folder... I cut at nine inches and then this first one is at six inches again 
from the first line here, it's six inches. And then this one, I did five and three quarters, I think, inches this side. Because I want to be able to use this and glue it to this one like that. And then you glue it to the middle line right here, the middle score line, because you only want a half inch um, spine on the right side. So you would glue it evenly to the middle line. And then you would have, let me clip this. I don't want to glue it yet because I have a lot of these laying around already. <laughs> And I might have to have this folder for something else. I don't know. Instead of gluing it, I'll just clip it so you can see. And then that makes your trifold. And then you just fold it up like so. And then this one goes like that. And then you have your trifold. Just like that. That's your base right there. Out of two file folders. It makes it perfect. Okay, back to this one. Um, after you get your your base going on, then I just take my envelopes. However, I don't even know how I had them now, but I just take my envelopes, and this is going to be my front of my flip flap journal. And I just decide how I want them to lay out. I just pretty much hold them up in my hand. And I got like, I don't know. So there's four different sizes of, of envelopes here. And I just decide how I want them to lay out. Like, I think I want mine to be like that. I think <laughs> maybe not it might not end up just like that but mine never do so I pretty much decide where I want my first one like this one right here and I think that's where I want it so I just take these off and this is one of those little CD holder size envelopes right here and I use um, my fabric tack because I want to be able to if I get it on there crooked, I want to be able to um, move it around. Let me sit down so I don't put a shadow on this like I always do. I hope you all can see this really good. And then I just glue it down where I want it. Let's see here. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to cover it all up anyways. This is just making the base where you want it and see when you flip it over I just I glued it exactly to the fold right there and if it's not exactly then you can at least um, move it around if you use fabric tack oh no my animals and like that so there is my first little flap and make sure you do it just to the first score line because that's your spine right here there's one two three. Oh no kitty she never gets up here I don't know what her beef is you're you're in the the light lady <laughs> oh my gosh Ooh, you get out okay sorry now that's my cat being a nuisance. What in the world? My animals, I swear. Okay, sorry about that. And this is one of the longer letter envelopes right here, but they ended up being too long. So I just cut it off at nine inches this way. So it kind of just makes it like that. But you can glue this down like this after you cut it off the length that you want it like 
that. And then after you get your first one done, it makes it easier to decide where you want the rest of them to go. And I know I want this one right here. So I just take my little flap and glue it down. this and make sure it's like just to the fold not right on it but just to it and there I have two oops and of course I get glue everywhere there you go you have Two of your little flaps then I take my next ones and I do it on this side so let's see I want it to be to where you can see all the envelopes I like to see a little bit of every envelope so I'm going to let's see yeah I think I'm going to do it like that. Whoopsie. And glue this one down. You can use glue stick too if you want. But like I said, I kind of mess up a lot. So I like to use fabric. Something, some kind of glue that you can move. Oops, see? I just messed that up. Some kind of glue that you can move around as you go just in case like just in case that happened but this glue it doesn't matter because i'll just go like this and it goes away that's a good thing about fabric tack too <laughs> or three in one either one they're kind of like the same same kind of glue and then we have that so far <laughs> i like it i like it a lot Okay, let's see here. Um, oh, you know, see, I just messed up. Oh my goodness, don't do that. Don't do that part. <laughs> you have to put these two together first. Like, I don't remember how I wanted it. Let's see. Because I want this to show there, there, and there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So, you want to put these two together first before you lay the other one down. See, that's why I use fabric tech. Because I do things like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. I glue these two together like that. And then make sure that it's glued really good to this envelope down here. Now I can use this other glue. I just want to make sure the flap is glued down really good to this one. Yeah, that's good. Sorry about that hot mess. And now you can glue it down. Like so. Whoopsie. That's how I want them to be. Like that. So. Now I just flip this over and glue this whole thing down here like that and if you don't get all the glue on where exactly where you want it then you can always go back like I did before and I just make sure it's even with the edge right here 
And this is again why I like using fabric tack. <laughs> Like that. Get that glue off there so it doesn't glue shut. And there you have your base. And you, you can glue these in however you want them. You just decide where you want them first. And then you glue them all down. And that is the first part of the flap journal. And then you just that way, that way that way or you can do it like this you just decide however and whenever whichever way you want your little flippity flaps to go and then you open it up you can put flaps here 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 you can put them everywhere you can just make this nothing but flip flaps and don't have to put signatures in there if you don't want to but let's see i'm going to show you how i do on this side if i can do it right uh, how did I decide I wanted those? I might just put, like, if you don't want them all the same, you know, I might put one here. And then on the inside, I could put two right there. I think I might. Yeah, I think I will. So, on this, I will put glue on here. I hope this lighting isn't... Oh my goodness. I think I want this one right there. And you don't have to put it over it. You can just put it to it like I did on that one. could just put it right here instead of on the other side if you want and I think I'm going to put these I might put this one up a little higher so it's not all bulky in the same exact spot actually let's see like I don't think I like I want to move that down a little There we go. Much better. Then I think I'm going to put these right there. But first, I'm going to do what I was supposed to do the first time. And we will glue this part shut. Like that. And... Glue these two together first, like I was supposed to do the first time. <laughs> like that. I got too much glue on there. Hold on, I gotta get this off my fingers. Of course. I'll just score it again. And then I'm going to glue these right there. Not with that glue. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I get the right glue so I do not mess up. But, knowing me, I will mess up anyway. Let's glue these little flappity doos here. And I just glue it to the corner or just to the edge like that. Take my little bone folder so I don't get the glue on my fingers. Like that. And there we have it. 
we have on oh, this little guy I was thinking about putting here but you can decide all that later because you could have a flip here and a flip you know have it go up and then out and out if you like but you don't have to do that I was just thinking that's another option that I have then you have you could just like I said glue so many envelopes on here this is just a way to use up your envelopes I think and I have a ton of envelopes so yeah this one two three there's four envelopes and you could put one here if you want five six seven eight envelopes that I got to use up and now all you got to do is decide how you want to decorate it like you just start covering up everything but also I want to mention on the spine of these I used a little piece of fabric like this maybe not that long but you can cut it off later and I put it on the spine to make it stronger because you'd be flipping and you'd be flapping these things all over the place <laughs> and I put it on with the fabric tack of course and I'll do that right now I just put some on there like that get that off there I smear it around because otherwise it seeps through the fabric and I don't like the look of that. Sometimes it does it anyways. Oh my word. Okay, sorry about that. I at least got 20 minutes without the phone ringing. <laughs> and anyways, I glued that down. And on these little loose pieces right here, you can go back. And I just kind of like tack those down a little bit. Because I'm going to cover these up with paper anyways. So it doesn't matter. But I want it to just make sure it's all the way down. Get this glue off my fingers. And then I get to my scissors. And I'll cut this. See how the glue seeped through it right there? That's okay because I'm going to be covering it up. And then I just cut that off like so and then we move over to this one whoops that goes that way and I glue another piece on this spine because I like them to be like I said really strong so plus my signature will be sewn into this one so it really has to be strong and the fabric is makes it nice and strong and just spread the glue around again because <laughs> you will see a little bit of the spine you won't see it all but you will see some of it Um, it's tucked in right there, but that's okay because you won't see that part anyway. And get the glue off. Try to get the glue off. Can't ever get all the glue off my fingers. Cut that part off. You can leave it if you want it, actually. And then that makes your spines a lot stronger and you still have your three or your mark your middle mark right here so that way when I um, poke my holes for my signatures I'll poke them from this side I just do three pamphlet stitch so I'll poke them from this side and then it'll show through on here you know where your holes are but yeah what else do I need to tell you oh on your little envelopes I like this one I don't know which way I want things to tuck into it yet that's why I didn't cut holes for tops or bottoms or whatever because I don't know if I'm just gonna make this keep it strong like this and make my own little pocket or you can cut the edge of this one off and have it a tuck spot this way and cover it this way so I always wait till the end or after I'm done constructing the whole situation before I decide to cut and where I want to cut 
if it, that makes any sense. I hope it makes sense. But, um, yeah. And then I also do this. I take um, some washi tape. And I try to make it. I don't have very good washi tape. I really need to get me some washi tape. <laughs> I don't know what kind of book this is going to be. But I take some washi, some wider washi. And if it's not real sticky, I'll glue it. And I just try to put it right in the middle on here. So it kind of makes them a little more, you know, durable when you're flipping and flapping. <laughs> so I do all that. That would be my next step after. So after this part, I do the washi tape on there. And I'll just go through and washi every little crease that's going to flip and flap. So that way it makes it a little stronger, like I said, and I have glue stuck to my finger. I'll also do it on these, this side. I just put the washi on that. That way I can cover it up for the most part if I want to. Oh, I hate the shadow thing. Oh my goodness. That way I can cover it up if I want to. I'll put washi there, there, there. And then I just start covering everything with the way I want it. And on this, also on this is how I made my little, when I did this, I don't know if I put, I can't remember where I put it, but I had put a little extra tablet right here on one of them. I think it was this one in the middle of this. I don't even remember now. You can put it wherever you want to put it. But yeah, I made a little extra tablet and I just made like a little hinge type thing for it. And I just put it on there and punched two holes and then ran my string through it, tied it, and then this little hinge down here, I just glued glued down and either made a pocket out of it or leave it, cover it, and do whatever else you want to do underneath there. But I made a little extra thing here like that. Let's see if I open it up. Then you get your sew in your first signature right here. You open, or you can put your first signature there. And the reason why I make it a little bit wider is because you can put tabs and stuff on as well. And then you just flip that over. And then your next signature goes in. And you flip that over. And then you just start filling it up. Super fun. I hope this helps you out. Um, I also have this one I did a little bit thinner. I just did a quarter inch and a quarter inch. And then I did a half inch spine on this side. So you can do them any size you want. And however many flippity flaps you want. Just have fun with it. It's, it's super fun. I really like doing these. They just kind of get you out of a regular train of thought, you know. <laughs> and make you do something creative. And I don't know. I just really like them. Well, I hope this helps you out. Um, thanks for sticking with me if you're still here after 25 minutes. And, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Please subscribe and like my videos. And I will chat at you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.